Hi, my name is Chris Parent, and welcome to my first course on Udemy, Learn Oracle WebLogic 12C Essentials. This course is the first part in a multi-part series on learning administrative fundamentals around one of the leading commercial application servers on the market today. My goal is by the end of this course, you will hopefully gain an understanding of what WebLogic is, what it can be used for, its features, its capabilities, and most importantly, how to get a WebLogic server up and running easily and quickly. So who should take this course? I've structured this course to be geared towards developers, systems administrators, and even architects who really want to gain a better understanding of what WebLogic is and how to get a WebLogic environment up and running. From a developer perspective, you may want to establish a WebLogic server to deploy your code against. If you're a systems administrator, you need to understand how to install and maintain and administer a WebLogic environment. And if you're an architect, maybe you need to understand what the product can do and how it's deployed um, so you can design and, and architect solutions around the product. With that said, you don't need to be a seasoned developer or a systems administrator, but some basic understanding of technologies and application servers or systems administration will certainly go a long way in understanding some of the fundamentals throughout this course. So what will this course really go over? We'll start by introducing WebLogic, the product itself. We'll discuss its features, its capabilities, and how it differs from basic web and app servers like Apache or Tomcat that you may be previously familiar with, although not required for this course. We'll also go over WebLogic specific concepts such as WebLogic domains. These are concepts that are, are unique to WebLogic, and so I will want to spend some time going over those concepts with you so you can understand the WebLogic product itself, how it can be deployed, and how it's architected. Once you've gotten a basic understanding of WebLogic, then the fun can really begin. We'll walk through installing WebLogic and then getting a WebLogic server up and running. This is the fun part of the course. So what are you going to need for this course? Well, you'll need a computer first and foremost. Obviously, you have one if you are viewing this presentation. Uh, something fairly modern that can run WebLogic itself. I would say at least a minimum of four gigs of RAM and perhaps a half gig of free space to support the installation. You'll also need some sort of command or terminal window. So if you're on Windows, a SigWin or the standard command window or PowerShell even uh, is great for this. Some of the commands to install and run WebLogic are command line based. Uh, if you're on Mac or Linux, the terminal program or, or, a, or a Linux shell is, is just fine. From the software side of things, you'll need the Java development kit and the WebLogic 12C installer. Now, under the resources section of this course, there are links to both of these products that you can click on and, and download. Uh, for WebLogic 12C, we're going to be using the latest JDK 7. And last but not least, thank you very much for enrolling in this course. I am very excited to share my knowledge and real-world experience with my students. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, I would greatly appreciate it if you reached out to me via Udemy. As this is my first course, I am looking forward to any of the feedback so I can roll that back into this course and make it better and easier to understand. Thank you very much and good luck.